okay so student next is question number three which is very simple you have done in lower class also this one this is a kind of a function f is defined by this one so this is the function it's like y equal to twice of x minus y right write down the value of f0 now you can see when the function is f of x okay here in bracket x then your function is defined what <coughs> 2x minus 5 now they have asked you to find the value of f of 0 so you can see in place of x it is 0 now here it is f of x here it is f of 0 means in place of x it is 0 right so when they ask you to find out <coughs> so first thing what is given f of x is equal to 2x minus 5 so number one they have asked you to find out f of 0 so f of 0 how to find out in place of x it is 0 on your left side right so right side also wherever there is x you put 0 there simple okay so it will be minus of 5 okay number 2 f of 7 they ask you so on, in place of x it is 7 so on the right side also wherever x is there you put 7 there okay because in place of x we are replacing by 7 <coughs> So this will be 14 minus 5 that is 9. Number 3 f of minus 3 you solve it okay 2 into minus 3 minus 5 so this will be minus 6 minus 5 that is minus 11. minus minus plus right so 6 plus 5 is 11 minus 11 okay so this one done next number 4 the function t now here i have written function f f f right <clears throat> now they can define function with different letter also okay so this time they have defined function with different letter instead of f they have used t so don't get confused when they use different letters okay the function t which maps now maps means what for example from set a to b the function is defined like this arrow map arrow diagram we used to draw like this right so this is also called mapping which we can write like this f a to b that is function from a to b it is defined okay so this is also called mapping so see here the function t which maps temperature in degree celsius okay so here the function is t okay which maps okay temperature in degree celsius so here it will be temperature only okay which will be in degree celsius okay from degree celsius to into temperature in degree fahrenheit so here also it will be temperature which will be in terms of degree fahrenheit okay okay so is defined by this one so they have given the function here number for this one t of c is equal to 9c by 5 plus 332 so it's like this function only in place of t if i replace with f in place of c if i replace with x it will be something like this 9x by 5 plus 32 you can see before we have done like this in place of t f so in place of t f function right so you can see c in place of c we are putting x means this is from the first set this value right and this whatever comes out that will be from the second set t of c so this one c this will be t of c okay it's like similar to your previous problem only this time the letter they have used different okay in place of f they have used t that we can do right in place of x it is defined by c okay now what they have asked you to find here is find t0 so similar to your previous question right t0 you can find out in place of c it is 0 so here if you put 0 so it will be 0 or totally so it will be 32 okay number 2 you find out same way okay number 2 3 you find out same way 4 also you can easily find out i will do number 4 okay so 4 what they have said the value of c so in question number 4 you have to find out value of c when tc is equal to t of c is equal to 212 so to find c we need one equation of c right so we have equation in this tc can i replace with this 9c by 5 plus 32 is equal to 212 they have given this one right so this equation you can see there is only c unknown so we can easily find out solving this equation which you have done in lower class 
also right solving linear equation this one <clears throat> so 32 bring this side 9c by 5 is equal to 32 when you bring this side it will be minus 32 okay so it will be 0 here 3 so it will be 18 here right so 189c by 5 so 5 let's bring this side I will do here which implies c is equal to 180 into 5 by 9 okay 9 times 2 0 5 2 10. so it will be 100 that's it now this were very simple question okay now main question is question number five which is also simple I'm, uh, and I'm telling you that mostly in exam they used to ask question from the miscellaneous okay so you need to practice miscellaneous also I will show you those questions also as well okay so first uh, first question of question number five is find the range of each of the following functions. so you have to find out range of this function okay so you know right range how to find out collection of all images right it's, a, it's your range number five one what is given given f of x is equal to <coughs> two minus three x where x belongs to set of real number okay and x is greater than zero they have said okay so <coughs> they have given a function this one okay now from this function I have to find out range range means what collection of all images so function is defined from first set to second set now what is your first set you can see first set is a collection of all x and this one all y right now see here your first set what they have said x belongs to real number but x is greater than 0 they have said so what what elements I will take here 1 2 3 4 5 all this after this everything okay greater than 0 x is greater than 0 all real numbers so here in between 1 and 2 those numbers are also here okay this is a rough explanation I am giving don't write this one in your answer okay without writing this also you can do or if you want you can write but if you want to draw this arrow diagram draw properly if you want okay now see <coughs> about x in the question they have given right x belongs to real number and it is greater than 0 so 1 be, um, after 1 whatever number is there those will be there then 2 then after that whatever numbers are there real numbers everything will be there between 2 again I told you between 1 and 2 there are infinite numbers rational numbers are there infinite okay so don't get confused only 1 2 3 4 these are not elements between 1 and 2 whatever numbers are there everything will be here in this set okay so this is your domain now range you have to find out right range means collection of all images images of what of this okay now relation they have given this one okay so if I take one what is the image of one let's find out if I put one here what you will get 2 minus 3 into 1 3 right so 2 minus 3 into 1 that is minus 1 now in second set did they mention that second set should be real number or it should be greater than something did, they didn't mention anything about this one so whenever they don't mention we understand that everything here is real number okay we will take all the real numbers here clear when they don't mention and here they have mentioned it is a real number and they have also mentioned that x is greater than 0 so we are taken from greater than 0 means uh, one more mistake I have made 0 will not be here greater just greater than 0 whatever is there that is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 all will be here okay so let me write 0 point dot 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 uh, 0 0 0 like this I will write that's why it's difficult to draw arrow diagram because after 0 you don't know what is the number okay so it's better ignore this one I will tell you how to write down this one in a shortcut form basically what you have to do here is your x value is your domain your y value this is your y right there is fx fx is also denoted by y okay here so the basically we have to find out y values okay image of this one means those y values we have to find out okay so see here carefully okay this will be little small so I have drawn this separately this one okay little big one now see here you have to use logic here to find out image okay so see carefully 
image means what y values right image of this one what it will now zero is not there so i have just mark it cross here okay so that you will understand zero is not the element here just greater than they have strictly mentioned here x is greater than zero okay greater than zero i'm taking now what is that greater than zero number can you tell it's impossible if you say that 0.0000001 then i will introduce one more zero and will put one and i will say that that is before this and if i say that someone else put more zero and you can keep on increasing zero 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 here and you will see that it will be greater than just greater than zero but you won't be able to say what will be exactly the number after zero okay it's impossible okay so this zero i can increase and make it more smaller and smaller smaller and smaller smaller but it will be greater than zero okay so that number so you need to understand that one okay so image of that one will be what so see carefully here it's impossible to find out image one by one so you have to use logic here and what kind of image you will get here you have to answer that one okay so if i take 0 0.0001 suppose this one here in place of x what kind of y value you will get this will give you 3 into this will give you 0.003 this one right so 2 minus this values what it will be you can see 2 minus this is very small number so if i remove this small number from 2 what you will get you will get 1.9999 something very close to 2 but you will not get 2 because something will get subtract right because you are not going to get 0 also this one it will be little bit more than 0 this portion okay why because 0 you cannot put here in place of x 0 is not the element just after 0 whatever is there that if you put here it will be 0, 0.0000 something 1 or like that you will get okay which will be greater than 0 this portion so 2 minus that small value what it will give obviously it will give view less than 2 this whole thing will give you less than just less than 2 whatever it is i hope you can understand so image of that number will be less than 2 it won't be 2 remember 2 is not the image here just less than 2 whatever is there that will be the image okay now if i increase number if i take this one suppose after that i will increase one i will put it here then what will happen this value also will increase little bit right so if it increase little bit this one if you got suppose here 1.999 after increasing this one little bit what will happen 2 minus this one will give you less than this again 1.998 something like this it will give i hope you can understand because it will become bigger little bit this value okay so you need to use logic here okay you cannot simply put values and can get down so you have to think now okay so after that if you keep on increasing this one we will keep on increasing this x value right so for that uh, value what will be the image again it will be less than 2 can you see less than 2 again if you increase keep on increasing this one this whole thing will become less than 2 less than 2 less than 2 now if i put whole number directly 1 if i put then what you will get 2 minus 3 that is you will get minus 1 right so less than 2 i will put here only okay so you will be 1.9999 this image will be there then it will be 1.9999998 will be there okay less than that it will keep on coming then you will get image of 1 will be minus 1 okay then again if you take 1.1 then what you will get you will get here 3.3 .3, right so 2 minus 3.3 .3, 2 minus 3.3 .3, okay what you will get <coughs> here 3 1.3 so minus 1.3 will be less than this so here it will be minus 1.3 so you will see that the image will keep on decreasing so as you keep on increasing this one your image will keep on decreasing and all the element less than 2 will be the image okay i hope you can understand so image of just less uh, greater than 0 if you take its image will be less than 2 less than 2 whatever number is there that will come out okay then after that if you increase this one again it will decrease 1.99998 like that will give it will keep on decreasing if you keep on increasing this one it will keep on increasing so time will come when you'll get here one and then you will get minus one okay some of you might be thinking how one right so see here you will get here value what 0 0.33333 like that value you will get right which is nothing but one by three 
okay so 1 by 3 also if you take here 1 by 3 lies between 0 and 1 only right so that value if you take your image will be 1 okay after that if you take you keep on increasing this one your image will be here here then when you take your x to be uh, 1 the image of 1 will be minus 1 x when you take 1 3 into 1 3 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so minus 1 will be the image if you take 2 what will be the image image of 2 will be 2 into uh, 3 into 2 6 so 2 minus 6 it will be minus 4 now some of you might be thinking between this what will be, what will happen now see between this again infinite numbers are there where their image will be their image will be between this one all element whatever is here those will come out because there are infinite elements here okay so image of that one if you want you can try to put values of this in your calculator here and try to find out image you will see the number will come between this only between one and minus four okay so in this way if you keep on increasing here it will keep on decreasing so you can make an idea from here your domain here which they didn't ask you domain will be what <coughs> it will be I can write like this right uh, open interval I can use 0 to infinity okay because x is greater than 0 right and you know that this interval means what open interval in between this what elements are there from 0 0 will not be there in the set after 0 whatever number are there till infinite whatever will be there all will be there in the set okay so that is what your domain is right greater than 0 whatever is there everything is your domain now what will be your range range how you will write down range will be what you can see it will be from 2 to minus infinity now how I will write down always in your number line we always write when you write interval suppose 1 to 2 interval when you want to write this you will write in the left and this you will write in the right right so same way your minus infinity will be on your left and 2 will be on your right right like this minus infinity this side 2 will be this side so when I write open interval you can write like this minus infinity now this will be what open or close open interval comma this will be 2 then it will be again open interval why because 2 is not the image here just less than 2 whatever is the element that will be the image okay and after that less than all the values less than to all the values whatever is there till infinity minus infinity everything will be your image okay so these are not that easy to understand at first okay so try to use logic here properly try to understand give more time in this kind of question first okay then once you understand this one properly later miscellaneous and this question also you can easily solve it okay so spend more time don't try to memorize these things it's of no use if you memorize this one don't expect same kind of question will come in exam okay so try to understand how I got this one okay I have used here logically I have tried to understand this one what what X I can take greater than 0 now when I take greater than 0 what kind of image I will get this will be your image right whatever x value you will take I will put it here in this relation and then we will find out y and that will be your image so image of 0 point something will be just less than 2 think why I have said less than 2 because if you put 0 0.0000000001 okay suppose that is the number just after uh, 0 then you will get 3 into 0 point this value will you will get 0 0.00003 okay which is very small number so 2 minus that small number will always give you 1.9999999 it will go on if you keep on making this one this x smaller and smaller smaller and smaller just greater than 0 then you will see that this value 3 into that value will also will keep on decreasing okay very small number it will be so 2 minus that small number it will be 1.999999 I can see okay so means just less than 2 whatever is there that will be the image after that if you take that value okay whatever value is there if you take them that, that is also very small but you are taking greater than this one right so when you take greater than this previous value then this value also will become little bigger okay so bigger than the previous value so obviously 2 minus that little bigger value will give you less than 1.999999 uh, okay 2 minus if you keep on increasing this one obviously the value whole value will keep on decreasing right so you will see that the value images will keep on 
decreasing in this way you try to find out for integers or whole numbers okay and think between this what kind of image it will give so you will see that all image whatever elements you have in your left or to your two okay in your number line all will be your image till minus infinity this will be till infinity so its image also will go till infinity okay so that's why what is the range these are all images so a range i have written from minus infinity to 2 but 2 is not the image that's why you can see open interval and minus infinity you know this is not the boundary element okay this is just a symbol we used to denote that it will be very 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 small number okay which we cannot reach clear so that's why this is not the boundary element that's why open interval again clear now the question is how you will write this one right so you can write like this <coughs> What I said, for whatever x value you will take, whatever y value you will get, those will be your image. Okay, for whatever x value. Now, x value what you can take? x greater than 0. For x greater than 0, what will be this one? So, see here. <coughs> for x greater than 0, 3x will be greater than 0 first thing. If I take x greater than 0, this value will be what? greater than 0 only right I hope you can understand greater than 0 if I take means what 0 0.000001 3 into that value what it will give obviously 3 into 0 0.0001 will be greater than 0 or not so greater than 0 but if I put negative sign 3x will it be greater than 0 or less than 0 For, to give example of this one you can see here 2 is greater than 1 or not Yes, 2 is greater than 1. But if I put both sides minus, will it remain same, this inequality? <coughs> you will do one chapter in this uh, class only, inequality, okay? But to understand that one, it's not necessary that that chapter you have to do first, then you can do it. It's not necessary. You can understand from here only. When I put minus both sides, what will happen to this symbol? Will it remain same? Will it be greater? Can you see? Minus 2, is it greater than minus 1? obviously no so what happen is here when 2 is greater than 1 and when you put both side minus okay both side if you put minus your greater than symbol will change into less than symbol okay this is a very good example you can take any kind of number like this 10 is greater than 9 right put minus both side <coughs> minus both side you put then will it remain same obviously no the greater symbol will change you can see minus 10 is less than minus 9 you can check that one in the number line minus 9 will come here then minus 10 this is on your left always numbers are smaller okay so this is less than this one so whenever you put minus on both side then the symbol the greater symbol will change into less than and less than will change into greater so here also i can think like this i have to understand this one right I have to find out when you take x greater than 0 then what kind of value will be this one so for that one by one I'm finding first greater than 0 x if I x if I take greater than 0 this value will be greater than 0 right then what will be minus 3x minus 3x will be less than 0 you can try to understand 3 into this one will be 0 0.003 like that right something you will get but if you put minus there so minus 0 0.0003 will be greater than this one or less than obviously less than okay so it will be less than this one next which implies this one next what i need then 2 minus 3x will be what will be less than 0 why you can see here carefully <coughs> to understand this also minus 2 is less than this one right but if i put here if i put here 2 okay you need this equation right so here also i have to balance by putting 2 you know right equation how we used to balance same way so inequality i got minus 3x less than 0 right now after that i want here 2 why because your question is like that only right I want to find out when x greater than 0 this will be what this will be what kind of value it will be greater than or less than what value so you can see I need 2 here right so how I can put 2 here also same thing okay I am putting minus here 
try to understand minus I'm putting here also but minus 0 means what you can write plus 0 only right we don't write minus 0 here so minus we are not putting so in equation also when you write something x plus y equal to 3 and if you need suppose if you want to make this one 6 what you have to do in the equation you have to put on the left side also 3 plus 3 right side also plus 3 then only it will be remain balanced this equality will remain same so same way here in inequality also I need 2 here right so what I will do both side I will put 2 plus 2 okay now when you cancel this one again you will get back this step 2 2 if you cancel if I bring this one this side 2 minus 2 it will become 0 here 0 so again you will get back this line okay so this is balance so I'm not violating any rule here so both side if I put 2 what you will get you can see this whole thing that is this fx fx will be less than 2 so you can see for x greater than 0 when you take x greater than 0 your y will be less than 2 so when you take x greater than 0 whatever value you will take your y will be less than 2 so your y value is your range right therefore range is equal to minus infinity to 2 I know this was little weird for you the way I have written here because this is for the first time you are doing right these are all logically I have ex explained for the first time you, know, you have done this one so this you will find it complicated right now okay but practice for the time being later when we will keep on doing this kind of problem you will understand it better and moreover you have to do inequality also and inequality it's very simple chapter i have already explained this thing which i have explained this thing you are dis you are going to discuss in um, in chapter inequality okay these are the things which you need to understand and you can understand this one yourself only right if i take 100 greater than 10 it's true right but if i put minus both side will it be true obviously no this sign will be changed minus 100 is less than minus 10 if you want to try try in the number line so that's why your basic concept is very important here okay so when you try to balance here in this inequality 3x i know it's greater than 0 right for all x greater than 0 so when i put minus both sides why i'm putting minus because i want to find out this one when x greater than 0 i want to find out fx will be what kind of value okay so if you are finding weird this one you can simply draw a diagram like this okay the one i have drawn like this and directly after that you can write down the range okay you will get same marks for that also so this will be your answer okay okay so next is question number two so slowly slowly things will be clear now okay now this time function is given fx equal to x square plus two so in this case also they have said x belongs to real number they didn't give you any restriction here x is not equal to 2 or greater than 0 they didn't give you so everything i will take in your first set okay all the real number they have said x belongs to real number so x i am taking real number now i have to find out range here right range i have to write down <coughs> So what will be range here again you have to make idea here right because see all element one by one you cannot find out what will be the image here so here also you have to make idea what kind of image you will get so see how i'll find out so first let's find out zero what will be the image if i take x zero what is the image of zero so if i take zero here what you will get y two right so image of zero will be two let's find out image of one when i take one what will be the image of fx that image will be image of 1 so when i take 1 here 1 square is 1 1 plus 2 3 so image of 1 will be 3 now see here in between this infinite numbers are there okay i will find out later this one i will just make an idea <coughs> so let's find out 2 if i take 2 here 4 plus 2 6 okay now here also elements are there right it's set of real number here also elements are there now what will happen with this elements will this be image or not and what happened to this element all this element will have image here or not you have to find out that now if i suppose i take minus one if i take minus one what will be the image if i take minus one here minus one square will be plus one right minus will get vanished if you take here minus one square x is minus one so x one minus one square plus two how much you will get 
this will be one some student they used to make mistake here minus they used to put it and then solve it and then used to get image plus one which is not correct okay so try to put bracket here and try to solve it properly okay so minus one in place of x if i take what will be the image so it will become one plus two that is three so minus one image is also three but see they are having only one image okay if i put minus one here you are not going to get two value of y only one you will get minus one when, when i put it only three i got so three will be the image okay what about minus two if i take minus two here it will become four four plus two six so minus two will have image six okay so in this way minus three three whatever image it will have minus three also will have same image so you can see less than two you are not getting any image right till now now see here carefully if i take 0 0.5 what will be the image if i take 0 0.5 here so you can see if i take 0 0.5 in place of x okay 0 0.5 square if i take plus 2 what i got 2.25 so image will be here 2.25 okay now before this if i take value suppose 0 0.4 it's confirmed that you will get image between this you can verify that one you can see here if i take 4 here 0 0.4 square you can see 2.16 2.16 will be beyond. between these two right you can see between these two 2.16 will be there now you might be thinking that some student might think still many elements will be there right which may not be image so image of this one will be this image of this one will be this one so here again infinite elements will be there right now those elements will be image or not obviously yes because see 0 0.4 i have taken i can take 0 0.3 i can take 0 0.2 infinite elements are here also so the more less you will take a element here you will get image more or less than 2.25 okay but it will be between 2 and 2.25 okay now if you take 0 0.5 greater than 0 0.5 if you take any value you will see that image will be between 2.25 to 3 here all the elements will come out as image okay and it will be image of all this number which is between 0 to 1 so you can see from 0 to 1 i have image between 2 to 3 all all okay so everything will be image here 2 to 3 then 1 to 2 if you try to put value here to try to put 1.2 1.3 1.4 like that you try to put you will see image will be between 3 and 6 all will come even your um, 4 will come even your 5 will be image of something okay some value is this clear so if this is 3 so, uh, for example root 3 root 3 also will be between 1 and 2 only right so root 3 if i take here you can see those who are not understood what is root 3 root 3 you know how to find out right value of root 3 you know by long division method how to find out so root 3 values you can see 1.7 so when you take here 